Well, it's one of Long Island's busiest and most treacherous roads. There is an expert fleeing a new idea to make the Southern State Parkway a little safer. I don't think there's a day past where there's another accident. It's always an accident there. Right across from the front door of the Barnes family in North Baldwin is the Southern State. And right across from their front door, there was a recent accident where a driver lost control going around a curve. Car flipped up, almost come over on Howard Street. I take my daughter just ashore, look at it. The accidents continue, the death rates are way too high. Mark Herbst, head of the Long Island Contractors Association, says there's a study on how the southern state's outdated design with hills, curves, and short on and off ramps could be fixed. But he says it's likely a five plus year project costing well over a billion dollars. A way to help pay for it, he says, is by adding a fourth lane, a toll lane that motorists would pay to use during times of heavy traffic. It moves faster and you pay depending on the flow of traffic if you want to go in. If you don't, you stay in the regular lanes. But it's an opportunity to move faster and you pay a toll for that privilege. Economist Allison Black says having private businesses pay some of the upfront costs of major public projects and then getting paid back through fees such as tolls is a concept used in other areas. We've had over 50 transportation related public private partnership projects uh, since the early 1990s. There are a number of states such as Texas, Virginia yet that use them quite often. Keep in mind Long Island's parkways weren't built so people could go to work. They were built so that they could go play. By the 1920s, cars were becoming affordable to the average American and come the weekend they wanted to play with their new toy. Right around then, public planner Robert Moses created Long Island State Parks, Jones Beach, Belmont Lake, Sunken Meadow. Now he needed ways for people to get to those parks, so he designed parkways. Everyone agrees the outdated designs combined with today's enormous volume of cars has created a dangerous situation. Until things change, Dwight Barnes says he'll continue to warn his son, a new driver, about the dangers of the parkway. And he hopes roadside memorials such as this one will serve as a warning as well. Every time you pass and you see them, one after the other, the wreaths and everything I say, they are not there because you want to decorate something. They are there because somebody died there. Well, that recent massive $4 billion renovation of LaGuardia Airport, that was done with the help of what they call that private-public partnership, like the one being proposed for Southern State.